<laughs> hey folks, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are at Santa Clara, California at the Augmented World Expo. And I'm holding in my hand here a micro display from uh, the Fraunhofer Institute based out of Dresden, Germany. And they gave a presentation today and they're talking about these uh, this great technology. I'm here with Philip, he's an IC engineer out of Germany. And uh, he, he works on this bi-directional OLED technology um, on a micro display. And it's point six inches in diagonal. Sorry for the bad lighting here, folks, but uh, you know the thing is so bright and it's so small, you're not gonna be able to see it all that well. But uh, tell us about the work you've been doing on this because there's a lot of technology packed in this little package. Uh, yeah, so so thanks for the opportunity to, to explain it. Um, we have a very special micro display. We call it bidirectional OLED micro display. And uh, so we have a normal small display and uh, additional image sensor embedded into the, the active area. Uh, right. So we, yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, the, these are the sub pixels. So it, it is an OLED display with new technology. So here's a what you're seeing on the screen here, folks. Just so you know, is what's on the micro display is what we see on the laptop screen here, and what we're talking about. You have the sub pixels, the uh, uh, red, blue. Uh, green, green and, and white. white, and then there's the photodiode. Tell us about the photodiode and what what is the the grand vision of a photodiode in augmented reality? Because this is a killer feature. Yeah, so we have an additional sub pixel, um, as you said before, uh, the photodiode in the center of each uh, pixel. Um, this photodiode uh, forms an embedded image sensor. And this image sensor is used for um, or in data classes to look at the user's eye and uh, thus to perform eye tracking and interact to the, with the system with, um, yeah, without your speech or, or your hands. Right. And what's cool about this, because we, what we were talking about before, with a photo diode, you, don't, you can look at the eye right on. You're not using a beam, like an infrared beam. And if you squeeze a beam into the photodiode here, so he's got his laser pointer, and now you can see it in real time being projected on the picture. And that's crazy. So that's him pointing his laser pointer on the mini display. Go ahead and move the, the pointer down onto the panel here so we can see the red dot real quick. Philip, go ahead and move it down here onto the panel real quick, the red dot. There we go. There we go. So, okay. so there's the beam. I'm going to move this back on here, and as soon as it appears on the micro display, the photo diodes are picking that up and projecting it as part of the display here on the computer in real time. And that's amazing technology. I mean, imagine that now just reading an eye, and if I'm wearing a set of augmented reality glasses, and I'm out in a store, and I look at something, it could show up a little AR element and tell me whether or not that was on sale or not. Yeah, that's right. 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 Um, this could, other things, I mean, medical. Oh, you're looking at the heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this is uh, amazing technology. Now, the resolution, tell me the resolution again on this micro display. It is SVGA, so it means uh, 800 by 600 pixels for the display and also for the embedded image sensor. Wow. 800 by 600 on a 0.6 inch display, which is a pixel density of 1,600 1, pixels per inch. So eat your heart out, Samsung, LG, Sony, everyone else. Um, the Fraunhofer Institute in Germany has been doing amazing research on this, and this is something that's going to be hitting our market sooner than we realize, because this technology advances so fast that you can expect to see this um, in, in some way, shape, or form um, in some kind of augmented or even virtual reality product. Um, I would say you could measure it inside of years, just a couple of years at the most, I think, huh? Yeah. I mean, so... Uh, if you want to learn more, keep checking back with us at phonearena.com. We'll be sharing some in-depth information about this micro display and other amazing work about augmented and virtual reality from the Fraunhofer Institute and other ins uh, yeah. outfits. What else? Yeah, uh, of course, uh, if you want to try this is, uh, new technology, you can yeah, um, contact us and we can provide you the, an evaluation kit. Yeah, to try oh, yeah. it out in, in, in your application and yeah. Right. Yeah, so if you're a developer and you're working on this, they've got an evaluation kit, a hardware developer kit of sorts that you can see how this technology might apply to your app. So uh, keep checking back with us for more uh, about the augmented reality at the Augmented World Expo in uh, the Bay Area here in California with phonearena.com.